Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of RimWorld. Uh, if you remember from last episode, we are in a pretty dire situation. Um, but uh, I've been looking forward to playing this again, and I've been I've been thinking about I've been thinking about our game. Um, you know, so uh, I guess last time I set up these turrets here, uh, or these blueprints for turrets. Um, and you know, actually, maybe that's okay for now. Maybe we'll leave those. Um, but I was thinking uh, just about security for this fort, and we don't have a whole lot of resources now to build walls or anything. So I don't know if we'll be able to do this for a while. But I think what I would ultimately like to do in this uh, extreme desert biome, where it's always hot, even in uh, winter, I guess the first of spring now. Um, but uh, I would really love to build a heat trap. And I've never actually seen anyone successfully build... I haven't watched that many Let's Plays of, Let's plays of people playing RimWorld. Um, I'm still kind of left... I, you know, I don't want to, like, learn too, <laughs> learn too much not on my own because it's kind of fun to, like, figure things out on your own. Um, but uh, I know that heat traps are a thing. In fact, on, uh, on the RimWorld website, they even say that it's, it's a thing you can, you can do. Or, or cold traps, whatever. But... Um, I know that uh, once we build a geothermal plant over a steam geyser, a geothermal like uh, power plant, they create a ton of heat. And I was thinking that it would be really fun to kind of divert uh, all attackers through a room that had like a uh, an auto door that was like on a switch. I don't even know if that would be if that would work if a door could close on a switch or not um it might not but maybe maybe something but uh that they would have to walk through that room um have a door close behind them and they get like really hot i don't know i i think i'll have to think a little more about it and we don't have geothermal uh technology yet we'll have to research that and i don't think we have enough materials to wall everything off and build ourselves a little trap there quite yet so unfortunately i think we will have to still wait a while i think this uh setup here which i actually had forgotten that we had planned out uh, i think that'll do us for a while at this point still at the beginning of the game it's pretty bad that at still at the beginning of the game i guess this is uh someone we killed of theirs um uh, we're, we're doing pretty awfully <laughs> for, for, for the beginning of the game, but that's okay. Um, that's, that's perfectly fine. We're saving this human meat to use as kibble, I think. I think we will be doing that. Our kibble is fine right now. Um, and we have a couple of graves for these two. This might not be the best place for graves, actually. I don't want it, like, in my fort, per se. Um, miscellaneous, I think. Grave... Can we put them... Hmm. You can't build them on, like, stone floors, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess out here, maybe? I mean, we'll want to build them in sand. That only makes sense. Yeah, we'll just put a bunch of graves right there. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we don't want to take up dirt space or whatever it is. It's actually gravel with, um, value with, uh, you know, we would, that's valuable land that we can plant on. Uh, these trees are taking a long time and these are the fast growing trees. How are the other trees going? Teak is at 12. Oak is at 10. Yeah, these take a long time. I think I might want to build more. Cacropias, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Um, zone growing. Because that's at least uh, one of the skills that Irma, one of our uh, two remaining colonists has, is she's a pretty good grower. So we're going to take advantage of that. Cacropia. There you are. Oh, good. The psychic drone has ended. That'll help a lot because uh, it only affected females and all of our colonists, including our prisoner, were female. So that should help her. Um, how is she? How's your health? Just bruises and scratches. You're fine. Uh, you're in pain, but you'll be okay. You slept 
Oh, you're hot. Well, yeah, it is hot, I guess. Um, we'll probably need to build an air conditioner for this room soon. Um, in fact, yeah, we have an air conditioner in this room. This room, it's... This room is still pretty hot, though. Oh, it's outdoors. Why is this room outdoors? Oh, because of this. Oh, because we blew up a wall. Um, we actually have a roof. If you see on the bottom, the, the bottom left here, it says it's roofed. We just, we just need this wall, and then this room will cool off. I think. Can we prioritize that? Uh, all right, Jesse, finish what you're doing here. Uh, you're just moving it there, right? Cooking. Uh, prioritize power conduit. Slate wall. That's what we want. Go, go, go! What? No, no, no. Keep working on it. No, no. Right here. And do it. Yes. Good job, Jesse. Jesse, I think... Wait, can Irma build? Where's Irma? I don't think... Oh, she can. She can construct. She just can't craft. Okay, that's good. It's good that we that both of our colonists can build. All right, so now this room should cool off a bit, uh, which is good because that's where most of them are sleeping. She's still hot, though. Um, what can we do about that? I think we'll have to um, mine out this room, this area here, and then just put in a... Actually, it'd be nice if it was off this way. Where orders mine... Um, Let's mine all this out, and then put an air conditioner right here. In fact, I think we'll need... Uh, eh, it's, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and I'm not sure what their priorities are. We're going to bed now. She's, she's cooking meals. Meals, that's awesome, though. We need these meals bad. Um, very badly. We have a lot of potatoes growing. A lot. Um, and we still have more to plant. Our rice is doing okay. Our rice is doing well. It's, get, it's, it's actually getting there. That'll be really nice, because those yield more than potatoes, I believe. And corn corn is slow, but um, I believe corn has the highest yield of all these, like, uh, you know, vegetables. Starches. Okay. At some point, we'll bury Daniel, poor Daniel, and, uh, and this raider. Um, yeah, I think we already... Well, we didn't move all their clothes and stuff in here. But, I mean, this stuff isn't good that good quality anyway. We won't be able to sell it for much. Uh, in fact, it's awful quality. And I think that's the only thing we have outside. Did we ever move that synthetic shirt in that that uh, one of our colonists had dropped out here? I hope so, because that was actually worth it. What is this? Spoils in two days. That's not good. And here's the synth, uh, synth pants. Okay, so once someone wakes... Is anyone awake? No. Once once someone wakes up, I've got to prioritize hauling those in. Oh, good. The uh, prisoner is fully healed. And it's... Fortunately, it's, it's spring, and it's nighttime right now, so it's not too hot. Oh, and it's an eclipse. That actually might make things cooler, potentially. Uh, that'll be bad for our power generation, but we're okay on power for now. And we have, we have three windmills, so that's actually not bad. Well, we made three windmills. Um, I didn't even see that eclipse happen. Why didn't you guys tell me? Um, so she's awake. How is she? She's ugly. Here, she's in an ugly environment. You don't look naked, but it says you are. Um, you're in the heat, although the heat's not that bad. You're imprisoned. Oh, you're right. You want, you're a proslophile. And you're in darkness. But you have low expectations, and we'll, we, you will continue to have a good mood from being convinced. Um, once Irma's done eating, I'm going to have her haul. I think Irma can haul. Yeah, she's our, she's our hauler. Okay. Don't sew quite yet. Uh, where did our stuff go? It's up here, I think. Yeah. First, prioritize hauling the meal, and then you can get the pants. You are wearing pants, right? Because if not, you could just put them on. Yeah, if you're wearing pants. Jesse, are you wearing pants? You're wearing pigskin pants instead of your the pants that you dropped. She was the one that dropped them because she was in a daze. She has kibble because she's our animal trainer. Okay. 
Um, and who's our warden? Our warden is... What is it, warden? Oh, Jesse. Okay. So once Jesse wakes up, she'll uh, she'll keep trying to convince Lao. Uh, and I want to I want to really prioritize convincing Lao because we really need a third colonist, <laughs> very badly. Okay, good. Playing horseshoes. You do you really need to do that now? Yeah, you're not in a great mood, but this will go away in not too long. You're comfortable. You're feeling great. All these pants. Oh, whoops. No, not you. Irma, hold the pants. Okay. Good, good. And I did uh, tell them to chop down a few cacti, and I don't know... Um, you know, I don't know when they're going to get around to it, because there's a lot of stuff to do. And I don't know if we need to prioritize it now. It would be really great to actually have walls around stuff, but... That's why we really need this third prisoner. Where is, uh, where's Jesse? Where did she go? Going for a walk. That's really nice. Can you... Prioritize chatting. Unless you, unless you really need food, Lau. Oh, you're hungry. You know what? Yeah, why don't we feed you? How many meals are here? So, okay, we have eight meals. I mean, we regret have one less, but low food. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have low, we have low colonists too. So, oh my gosh, more of the merchants. No grenades, please, no grenades. OEMP grenades. Those aren't bad at all. Um, and a PDW. I don't know what that stands for, but I think it's bad. It's some kind of machine gun, I think. A micro submachine gun, short range, low power rate of fire so if we if we just keep them at a distance we might be okay of course we only have one fighter which is not good um man i did not expect another raid so fast like we still have the bodies left from our old raid which was just like an episode ago i was not expecting that we're not i mean this is, we're not on, like, the hardest difficulty or anything. Um, okay, Jesse. Oh, you're going to put on the nicer pants. That's fine. Um, are they attacking now? Yep, they're attacking now. So I don't have time to prepare or anything. Um, okay. We don't have any turrets up. I haven't heard. I didn't think it would take. I didn't think uh, it would be this fast. You have a survival rifle, which is very slow. Do you have any armor? You do have armor. That's good. You're our only fighter. All right. So everyone, if um, Jesse dies here, which is a very likely possibility, uh, I think we're just totally screwed um we're just yeah i don't know okay there there are only two all right so the one with the emp grenades he's just going to attack our uh, our like electronics we don't have to worry about him we're going to focus fire on gabby once gabby is in range You know what? Move. Oh, I can't. There's a tree right there. Move here. Oh, no. Uh, Irma, you gotta run. Uh oh. Oh, I think Moses is probably starting a fire. Dang it! That's alright. We have a lot of potato plants. Fire. Oh, God. This is so bad. Oh, the iguana's fighting, I think. I mean, I don't mind if the iguana gets injured helping us. The iguana can take some bullets. Cargo pods. Okay, strange time to have cargo pods. Thank you. Oh, no, Conan. Oh, don't hurt. Yes! Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I think uh, Irma 
while you can't fight, because I don't think Moses is actually that big a threat, I'm going to have you uh, prioritize extinguishing. Oh, you're fighting the fire already. Great. Is Moses running? I got a headshot on him. Jesse, go get him. Go get him. Oh, you're firing. Yeah, that was, a, that was a long shot. I don't think we're going to get Moses. Um, that's okay. Undraft you. Alright, you're fighting the fires. Conan, how badly are you hurt? You have a gunshot. Blood, trivial blood loss. I think you'll be okay if we treat you. As soon as we... Our iguana died. But honestly, like uh, that's that's not so bad. We're just gonna butcher the iguana. It was a male iguana anyway. We really need a female for the eggs. Now I think our main doctor is Irma. I could be wrong about that. Yeah. So Irma, treat Conan. No. How do I? Can I not? Can I not prioritize healing Conan? Oh, we got some meals from that. We also got this machine gun, which is super nice. We're going to strip uh, this this uh, one raider here. And it looks like she has some armor on, so that'll be good. Is Conan resting yet? Yeah, Conan's resting, so maybe now Irma can... Uh, yes, treat. Good. We don't want to lose Conan. Conan. Conan can haul. Even though we can't tell Conan, our, our dog, to uh, what to haul, she can still haul, and that's pretty important. We don't want to lose her. Good, we're butchering an iguana. That's fantastic. Honestly, like, it was worth training that iguana just because that iguana attacked uh, the, uh, the raider, and, and the raider then attacked the iguana instead of attacking Jesse. I don't think Jesse was hit once. She wasn't. Because that iguana took all the fire. So it was totally worth taming that iguana. I actually, I totally doubted that it would be, too. I was like, we're just wasting a little bit of food, taming this iguana. Totally worth it. We might not have a colony right now were it not for our iguana. Uh, and, and now we're eating it. <laughs> so, or cooking it, anyway. So that's actually excellent. Um, that worked out super well. Uh, and we didn't really care that much about the iguana anyway. Uh, I'm just scanning for more animals. We should maybe make an army of iguanas to take fire. <laughs> no, it re would really be good to have a female iguana that laid eggs. That could be really good. I don't know what the, like, food... Uh, oh. Oh, well, we got meat here uh, in the cargo pods. We got to collect that because uh, it'll spoil before too long. Um, Irma's sewing. Why don't you prioritize hauling meat? Put it in the freezer. More cargo pods. And it's more meat. Cat meat. Gross. Okay. Uh, it's kind of far away. It's kind of annoying, but meat is meat. Irma's going to be doing a bunch of hauling. Jesse, can you um, chat? Yeah. And hopefully now Conan is treated. Yep, Conan's treated, so I think she'll be okay. Uh, eventually. Uh, Irma, uh, she keeps wanting to sell, but uh, collecting this food is a higher priority. Actually, this food landed first, although not not that. I mean, it sh we should have at least a day before it spoils. And we do have this uh, refrigerated area, so. Conan is fully healed. Awesome. She's just resting now. We still have an eclipse. It's only 2 p.m. All right, we fail to recruit, but you see, it's uh, we should only have to try like three or four times before we get her, hopefully. Um, all right, Jesse, what are you gonna do now? You're going to oh, good. Haul. Wait, I didn't think you could haul. Oh, I think you you can just do it to cook. 
right? Um, yeah, you can't haul. Uh, but you can cook, fortunately. Where did Irma go? Irma. Wait, what? Okay. Nope, you have more food to haul. Actually, actually, with all this meat, I think we should be good for a while. Because this stuff keeps... Uh, our our uh, potatoes keep growing. Our rice is probably uh, going to be done by the time, like, we're ready. Like, we get through all this meat. So... And Jesse's... Fortunately, Jesse can cook while Irma hauls. We're very fortunate that the two colonists we have uh, don't have... Um, you know, have, have different skill sets. Go, go, Irma. All right, and then I think this should be the last trip all the way over here. And then we'll also, we'll have her get the rest of this elephant meat. This is a, this is a lot of meat here. That's a good amount of meat. Okay, and then get this stuff, and you should be good. I, you might be able to get all that in one trip if it's under 75. Ah, not quite. Not quite under 75. And we might also want to prioritize... Because um, it's just going to... It's it's the second of spring. It's already 93 degrees outside. We might want to prioritize mining this out and getting an air conditioner here. Because uh, if it gets way too hot in here, our prisoners will get heat stroke. Because she is... Um, so yeah, it's not too hot right now. We've all slept in 90 degree weather. It's not pleasant, but it's it's okay. Uh, but her mood keeps going up because she keeps being convinced. Or I'm sleeping. So we lost. Uh, oh, I think she did finally haul that one last piece of elephant meat. All right, excellent. And Jesse's cooking. It is a little bit of a distance between our kitchen and our freezer, but we once we have more space, we will move things around. We haven't been doing any construction. We might want to prioritize our security. Um, and I think... Is, can Irma construct? Who constructs? Uh, oh, they can both construct. But Irma is better at it, I think. Yeah. So when Irma wakes up, I'm going to have her work on these turrets. Uh, because if the game gave us a raid that quickly, we might... Um, it could give us another one that quickly, too. We still want Lao. Jesse's priority is still going to be convincing Lao. Yeah, yeah, come on. Speed through the sleep. It's really nice. It does seem to be windy in the area, which is very good, especially when we had that eclipse. We have we only have one battery. Oh no, we oh we have this battery because we haven't finished these conduits. We should probably work on those conduits too. I mean we're okay on power, but we need more than one battery. Uh Irma, wake up. Someone wake up. I have stuff to tell you to do. Uh, oh, good. She's consuming this meal out here. That's that's good. Oh, she's probably getting like bad moodlets from looking at these. Where did where did the body of Daniel go? Oh, that is the body of Daniel. This is the the body of the other one. Oh, I forgot we told them to keep human bodies in here because we were butchering human meat, and. Uh, wait, where? Corpses. We no longer want to keep human corpses in here. Uh, we only did that because we were butchering humans, but we are no longer butchering humans. Our situation is no longer that dire food-wise. Okay, uh, don't play horseshoes. I don't need materials. We don't have the steel. How do we not have the steel? We only have 71 steel? we had more that means we're gonna have to do a lot of mining and i don't think we're that good at mining uh i think our main miner was daniel and he died uh mining 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 here you go oh they can both mine five one so jesse is okay at mining i guess she'll have to do that because we need the steel for those um oh there are more meals here haul those meals and then we should probably bury these bodies too, Irma. Actually, 
First strip. Nah, don't first strip. The stuff will just be lying out there. Conan, can you help out with the hauling? Um, can we bury you? No, we need to build these graves first. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, I guess Jesse's on a slightly different sleep schedule, so. Kona, what are you doing? You're just wandering. I can't tell Kona what to do. And honestly, like, okay. Jesse, you're probably going to eat something. Oh, you're training. Don't prioritize training, Conan. Lao, do you need food? You are starving. Yes, you need food bad. Deliver food. Okay. Now strip Gabby. Uh, do you have armor on? Why don't you put that armor on? Just in case. Actually, we'll probably have Lau wear that armor. Yeah, forget I said, forget I, I said that. Bury Gabby. Irma can't fight. She'll just she just runs away. So, and then we'll have you bury Daniel. Whoops. Jesse's training Conan. Prioritize uh, getting loud. Don't prioritize training Conan. Conan's tra tra Conan's trained okay. Okay. And then we'll bury this one over here, and that'll be it. No more, no more bodies we have to see. Come on, get Lau. Get her. Failed. Okay. That's all right. Um, what are you doing now? Yeah, you're probably hungry. At once. Uh-oh. Oh, flash door. Okay, that's okay. I thought something exploded. Uh, I would not have expected flash storms in the desert. I guess it makes... I guess I've been to, like, the Badlands and stuff where it's done that. Uh, it would be nice if that came with rain. That's the thing, if a fire starts here, rain is not going to come and wash the fire out. Alright, Irma's doing that. Well, Irma, instead of... I know sewing is important, but I think it's more important that we do some of this mining. Well, actually, we wouldn't even be able to build another air conditioning unit. So I think we really just need to mine steel right now. Fortunately, we have all the steel right by us. Which you can start working on. Um, and Irma is not as good at mining as Jesse. Jesse, what are you doing? Cloud watching. Nope. That's not what you're doing. You're going to be um, mining compacted steel. Oh, that was a flat. Uh, <laughs> that was a flash fast. That was a quick flash storm. I don't think I started any fires. I would imagine that fires would be hard to start here since there's almost no vegetation. We could always uh, chop down some of these cactuses, but I don't honestly. I don't think it's, it would give us that much wood. Wait a minute. I thought we buried uh, Irma. Irma. Come on. I thought we told her to bury uh, Tail, or whatever her name is. Oh, I think I told everyone to have time for Joy. I think I actually am the one that told them all to do this. Observe court. Yeah, so I don't think they have any more bad moodlets for eating peoples. So I'm going to um, take off this, like, you have to have Joy time here. Although that's not right now. Uh, this isn't their forced joy time right now. Um, Jesse, keep mining. Actually, can you convince again? No, not yet. There's like a cool down for how often you can try to convince them. You're just going to have to be hot in here, and hopefully we'll recruit you before, before the temperature gets way too hot. 
Um, yeah, you can cook meals. Cooking meals is a good use of your time. Uh, I don't know how much steel we got. Um, can you yet... No, we still don't have enough for a turret. Turrets actually take a good amount of steel. Oh, did you just put on that helmet? Oh, that's nice. Good. That's actually really useful for you, you being our main fighter. Um, Irma, can you haul this gun in? And maybe some other stuff? Like this armor? I don't care so much about the pants. Conan can get to that when he has a chance. I just don't want all this stuff to degrade, because it could be worth a, while, worth a bunch. Um, and the gun might be very valuable, just mili militarily. Oh! Did we get rice? Wait, where's... Are you hauling rice? Where did that rice go? What happened? What's wrong with me? Did we already make the rice into meals? Potatoes, iguana meat, elephant meat, uh, cat meat, elephant meat. What? Where? What? It sure looks like she har they harvested rice. Right? What happened? What? We have enough meals. No one would be eating raw rice. I don't know what's going on. Why are these rice plants so degraded? Like 45 out of 85? I mean, I know we had a fire over here at some point, but I didn't think it was that bad. These plants, no, these plants are fine. They're not degrading. These potato plants are fine. We, it must be... I don't know. Does rice not do well in hot climates? I would not have imagined that would be the case. A low grain plant... Uh, Thrives in rich soil. Maybe it's because our soil sucks. Eggs. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's just because maybe just rice doesn't grow well in gravel. So this one down here is 30, uh, 30, or 25 out of 85. So we'll keep this with the very bottom right one. I want to keep, like, we can use that as our marker. That's 25. And we'll see if that lowers. Because maybe that means I just can't. You saw that. Is now at 15. These are all degrading super fast. Uh, we gotta harvest these. Oh man, I wish I had known that. Gotta harvest these. And that means we can't grow rice. I wish I had known that. Um, I guess we're stuck with potatoes and corn. I guess we'll grow more corn. What's the deal with corn? Uh, takes a relatively long time to grow, but yields lots of food. Takes a long time to spoil. Can be eaten raw. Needs fertile soil to grow well. And our soil is not fertile. So I think that might be why this corn... It might be taking even longer than usual. What about strawberries? Fragile. But tasty. Eh. Uh, eh. You know... Let's try it. Let's try strawberries. There, there are no other food plants, I don't think. And it doesn't say anything about them needing a certain kind of soil. Um, and we have, we already have refrigeration. So, Irma, you gotta, you gotta cut these. We're not gonna, because these are not fully grown. We're not gonna get a full harvest for these. But, man, look, a whole bunch just disappeared. We gotta get, we gotta get some food here. We can't let these all go to waste. You can't rest. I'm sorry. Can't let you rest yet. I can't believe we, we lost so much rice because I wasn't paying attention. That's crazy. Like, it, it's like it takes just as long to grow as it takes to fully degrade. It was almost like perfectly timed. Oh, thank you, Jesse. Jesse actually hauls when she's do when she's hauling for the purpose of like making food. Ah. One more. So frustrating. They disappear while we're uh, hauling. Or while we're cutting them. Okay, so no more rice. No more rice, guys. Don't let me grow any more rice. Um, all right. So with that... With that... Uh, we can't... We can't talk to you yet again. I think with that, that's that's a pretty good episode. We fought off. We've defended against one set of raiders. 
Um, we continue to try to convince Lau. We've learned some stuff about um, about desert agriculture, and uh, we continue to sow trees uh, to mine out some steel. All in all, not so bad. Um, all right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for playing with me, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.